Hello and welcome back to the channel and now you join me for this week's Forza Thun guide called Blue and Gold which wants you to own and drive the 1993 Renault Clio Williams so let's get stuck in. Now this is the current question and it will take you back 30,000 credits from the auto show. Also to note I have not created a tune for this one and you'll see why in a minute. Now the first challenge here is nice and easy and it wants you to earn two stars at Trailblazers. Now of course I have a normal Trailblazer to use and again the car is stock. So the Trailblazer I used is City Escape. Now two stars on here is finishing with a remainder of 20 seconds on the clock. However this is super easy to complete with just three stars and like I said the car is completely stock. So it doesn't really matter. You can tune it if you want. It's entirely up to yourselves. But all you need to do is of course get two stars in the challenge which is finishing with 20 seconds or more on the clock but really easy to get three stars with a bog standard car and that'll be the first challenge complete once you've done it also i recommend just marking the end point of the trailblazer whichever one you pick but the city escape one is definitely the easiest in the game now the next challenge here wants you to spend twenty thousand credits on upgrades so the easiest way to go about this is just by doing an engine swap i recommend using the 1.6 i4 turbo rally for 28,000 credits or you can spend a bit more time modifying it for the final challenge now one other thing to note once i upgraded the engine i did also swap it to an all-wheel drive drive terrain and adjusted the gearing uh, or the transmission even to a seven speed just to get the top speed up for the final challenge which is to earn three stars on a speed trap so to do this i recommend using the pass or inferior speed trap now three stars on here is only 105 mile an hour if you want to do it in one run or you can obviously do two different runs getting two stars and one star it depends on what tune you're using what speed trap you're using it really doesn't matter but this is why i did the upgrades that i did was so i could do this speed trap as again it's a really really easy one to achieve and if you want to get it done in one shot i recommend using it three stars 105 mile an hour super easy to do not a whole lot of modifications needed either uh, and that's how you complete this week's force thon as easily as possible now hopefully this guide has helped you out but of course if you're struggling with anything then please do let me know down below in the comments i'll be more than happy to help you guys out if it did help you're new to the channel i'd very much appreciate if you could subscribe and of course dropping a like massively helps me out as well but apart from that folks i want to thank you very much for watching make sure you stay safe and take care